Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I'm going to share 50 tweaks with you guys currently compatible with the iOS 8.3 Untethered Taiji Jailbreak. All right, so getting started to keep things simple, I will have one link down below in the more info to a post on my website that has all 50 tweaks listed there, as well as every single major compatible iOS 8.3 tweak. So for those of you who are interested in that, be sure to bookmark that post. The list is updated on an hourly basis and it's maintained by the Reddit jailbreak community. So big props and shout out to them. And with that said, let's go ahead and get straight into this. You'll obviously need to be jailbroken for those of you who have yet to follow my untethered jailbreak tutorial, link to that on the screen now and up first we have crash reporter which is actually a pretty great tweak especially when a new jailbreak is released because what it does is it logs every single time an application or your springboard crashes so that means you can kind of pinpoint what's causing your device to crash because it tells you what the suspect is all right now next up we have Kabalia, which is a great tweak that essentially replaces your recent contacts and your favorite contacts up at the top inside of the application application switcher with toggles so you can toggle things on or off for instance I can toggle on or off Bluetooth as you'll notice now it's currently on and when I toggle it off inside of Kabalia it toggles it off there at the top next we have flux I can't really make a top city a tweaks list guys without including flux it's one of my absolute all-time favorites essentially it modifies the warmth of your display at night to make it easier to view when you're using your device it basically reduces reduces blue light exposure and it's proven to help you sleep better as well as to just reduce eye strain overall. Now swiping over here to the second page you'll notice the next tweak it's called icon sash. So in the top right hand corner of these icons they now say new because they're new applications that I just downloaded from the app store. I actually downloaded two before I realized that it's probably best to download an icon that's orange or something to add some extra contrast between that blue sash. Now we have no slow animations you've probably already noticed by now when I open applications they open incredibly fast that's because of no slow animations it's fully customizable via the settings app in the top right hand corner you'll see something's a little bit different about my battery icon that's alkaline it's fully customizable and themable and what's actually interesting is it doesn't require winter board so as you can see I can swap out the theme here all I'd have to do to apply it would be to respring by going back and then tapping on respring of course I'm going to tap on cancel because I'm not interested in respringing or setting it right now always clear is a must-have it allows you to clear out of all notifications for an application just by tapping the X once instead of having to tap clear and then confirm that clear Elm poem is great for those of you who take screenshots because what it does is it brings up an additional menu here and it allows you to either save the photo to your library copy it to your clipboard so you can then paste it upload it to imager or you can share it so when you tap on share it brings up the regular and customary share menu here for iOS 8. Auto rotate videos is a fantastic one because I like a lot of people keep my iPhone locked into portrait mode all the time and when I go to play a video on YouTube for instance if I just go to youtube.com or really any video it will automatically play inside of portrait by default but as you can see here with this tweak installed auto rotate videos it rotates automatically based on some predefined settings within the settings app Better NC7 allows you to completely customize notification center inside of settings. So as you can see here inside of Better NC settings, we have quite a few different options. We can hide different elements of it, and we can also even go as far as to say how many lines we want within the preview of certain notifications. Blurred adds a dark keyboard everywhere. So for those of you who are a fan of the dark keyboard with inside of Spotlight Search, you will like this tweak because essentially it adds a dark keyboard theme with inside every application. Classic Dock brings back the pre iOS 7 and iOS 8 dock and it just looks incredibly clean on iOS 8. Side Delete 8 will allow you to delete different applications that you download from 
from Cydia. So as I'm sure most of you are well aware, iFile is a package available inside of Cydia, and you can actually delete it with SciDelete 8 without having to launch up Cydia. Cornered, you may have already noticed this by now as well, is a great tweak that essentially rounds the corners of certain menus. So you'll notice here that when I take this picture and I go to share it, like iOS 9, we now have the rounded corners for the menus there, up at the top as well as for the cancel button that is inspired by iOS 9's design. COU is a simple app that's really great for iPhone owners as well as for those of you who use FaceTime. So going inside of the settings app here and going to COU, you'll notice that when you have it enabled, instead of having the slide to answer with additional buttons, you just have the decline and the accept button. You can also even customize it a little further there at the bottom. Now with Cylinder, when I switch pages, I have an awesome animation that's fully customizable inside of the settings app. And when you go to Cylinder, you have so many different options and so many different effects, and you can actually set more than one. So I have the first one set here. It's cube inside no zoom. If I were to set another one, let's say curl and roll away, that's the second one. It puts a little two by it and it will actually merge the two and do a two different effects. Some of them don't always work that well though. As you can see there, it's trying to do the cube, but it just doesn't play nice with that curl and roll away transition. Dark Folder 7 adds a really nice and really clean dark folder scheme to iOS. Disable Parallax Effect is one of those tweaks that I just always have to install right away when I first jailbreak because it does add a tiny bit of battery life savings to your device. Essentially, it disables the effect that moves the wallpaper when your device moves. So it's really hard to capture here on video, but when it's installed, the wallpaper does not move whatsoever. And you can kind of also achieve this by going inside of settings and enabling the reduce motion setting inside of accessibility, but then you don't have the awesome opening and closing app animations. Okay, up next we have Facebook Plus Plus, which does a lot of things and it actually allows you to utilize Facebook Messenger from within inside the regular Facebook app without having to then be redirected to the Facebook Messenger app. So you don't need it and you don't need to use it when you have Facebook Plus Plus installed, which I think a lot of you will really find useful. Now next we have a better five column home screen. You do actually have to add a customer pop repository inside of Cydia. So as you can see here inside of sources, I have it added right here. So simply go to edit and then followed by add in the top left hand corner on the iPhone there and then type in repo.rpdev.info and once you do you can install it. You can also install some other tweaks available on the source as well such as better five icon dock which will allow you to have five icons in your dock but we're talking about better five column home screen as you can see I now have five icons in my column for my home screens. Flurry allows you to customize the kind of frost and see-through or transparent effect that you receive inside of certain menus and it lets you fully tweak the effect inside of the settings app. With Glow Badge, you can pick any color, and when you have notifications, the app icons will actually glow. So as you can see there, I have a few different glowing icons for notifications. iCleaner is always a very great tweak in my opinion because it can do so many different things. You can actually clean up message attachments to kind of save some space. You can get rid of OTA or over the air software updates if you're not on the latest version of iOS and you received said OTA notification prior to jailbreaking, though I recommend that all of you do jailbreak on iOS 8.3. And one of my favorite things is the unused dependencies settings. So oftentimes when you install tweaks, they also come with dependencies or other tweaks that need to be installed before you can use them properly. And when you uninstall the original tweak that installed the dependencies, said dependencies are not removed. So this way it can automatically tell if certain dependencies are being utilized by tweaks and remove them accordingly if they're not. Ineffective power is a tweak without any settings that just patches the bug that was discovered that causes a device to crash when it receives a banner notification with select English, Arabic, and Unicode characters. I actually created an in-depth video on how to achieve the effect and how to cause people's devices to crash. Well, essentially this closes that. The patch won't be officially live until iOS 8.4 is released, at least not from Apple, but jailbreakers can make use of it now. You'll notice that when I send 
send myself the message, it doesn't actually crash. We have it there inside of a banner notification at the top, it's not crashing, the iPhone is still up, that's because we have the patch installed. Icon Renamer, as the name would suggest, allows you to rename your icons to really whatever you want. So just enter the home screen edit mode by tapping and holding, and then just tap on whichever icon you want to rename. And from there, all you have to do is type in what you want to name it to, and then hit apply. As you can see, my Apple Watch app is now just called Watch. Lock Glyph is perfect for Touch ID devices because it adds a new animation at the bottom when you go to unlock. It's inspired by Apple Pay, and as you can see there, when Touch ID successfully recognized my fingerprint, it gave me a nice check mark. Now, I personally don't use Snapchat, but I know a lot of you probably do. So, Phantom for Snapchat is an awesome tweak that extends Snapchat's functionality. Basically, it'll be like a hack for Snapchat, and it will allow you to save recent media to your camera roll without the original sender knowing that you saved it. So it won't notify them like it does when you take a screenshot. So this is a great tweak for those of you who use Snapchat. It does so many other things as well. Repower is an awesome tweak that adds respring as well as reboot options to the regular slide to power off screen. Terminal is great and it has so many applications. I'm not going to go over them in this video, but you can definitely Google terminal commands and you can do things such as SSHing into remote servers. Prettier Banners adds contact icons inside of notification banners. As you can see there, I have a lion set for my contact picture. That's just what happened by default, but it displays that there. Now, pull to dismiss is a really good tweak, but there seem to be some issues with it when actually selecting emojis. So basically what it does is it allows you to pull down to hide the keyboard really anywhere. So kind of like just swipe down on the keyboard. But what happens when you're inside of the emoji portion of the keyboard, when you actually go to scroll through them, it kind of wants to hide the keyboard and it's really hard to select what you want to select because then when you go to bring it back up again, of course it doesn't remember the exact place you were at when it goes down. So it's very hard to utilize right now, but hopefully we should expect an update soon. And if you don't use emojis a lot, then this tweak will be great for you because it's so easy to hide the keyboard. Pull to respring, as the name would suggest, respring's your device when you pull down inside of the settings app. It's really easy and convenient. Reach weather is great for the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus because when you double tap on the home button with Touch ID, so basically just tapping on the button itself, it gives you the weather and this is predefined within the settings app. So you can select which city you want and the tabs that you want as well. Ripple board, you may have noticed it by now, but it will add nice animations to actually launching different applications. So when I tap on Safari, you'll notice it displays kind of a little ripple there right before it opens. It's fully customizable and you can add ripples to other things as well, and you can even make it ripple for every tap. And this is perfect because it leads us into the next tweak, Safari tab count. So I have a little three down there at the bottom where I would normally just have the button to press to bring me to my tabs. So it's really Really awesome because as you can see I only have three tabs open and that's exactly what it displays there at the bottom inside of Safari. Those of you who use Instagram will like Savegram because it allows you to save any picture with inside Instagram. So let's just go to a random picture here and you can tap on the little three dots and you can save it. So as you can see there I just saved the picture to my camera roll. With slide for usage, when you enter the regular multitasking interface, you can pull down on applications and it gives you some stats. So it says when it was last opened, how long it was used for, and the total duration. It's really great for tracking and monitoring app usage. Snooze Helper makes the entire lock screen a snooze button. So let me set an alarm and I'll show you what I mean. Hey Siri, set an alarm for 2.42. All right, perfect. So let's go ahead and lock the phone and I'll show you exactly what it does. Okay, so now I can just tap anywhere and it snoozes the alarm. Now this next one's kind of related. It shows the time remaining in the current timer up in the status bar. Hey Siri, set a timer for two minutes. So now I have one minute and 56 seconds and counting up in the top. That's the current timer and you can set the separator as well. I actually set it to the watch emoji, which I think looks perfect. Tiny bar adds a really great notification banner style that is customizable. So as you can see, it's very discreet up there at the top. It just utilizes the status bar instead of kind of pushing everything down and having a really big banner. 
And speaking of banners, unbold just unbolds the text up at the top inside of the banner. So the carrier text as well as the time and everything else. It just makes it look nicer in my opinion. Unlim tones add some great options for ringtones. You can make your own. I found that it's not working for me on iOS 8.3 as far as creating my own ringtone is concerned. However, what you can do is you can actually search for other ringtones and you can get them set up that way. So if I wanted this ringtone from Biggie Smalls, all I have to do is just tap add to ringtones. So as you can see inside of the sound portion of the settings app for ringtone, it just adds it there and you can set it and get a little preview. Now next up is YouTube. It's a tweak that requires the default YouTube app, so I'm going to install that now. I'm not personally a fan of it, but let's get it installed. Okay, so now that we're inside of the YouTube app here and I have a video playing, the music will actually continue when I press the home button. So let's go ahead and turn it up. And as you can see, there we go. It's now playing and we can fully interact with iOS with the song continuing to play in the background. It works for the audio for any YouTube video. Next, we have Zeppelin, which allows you to add custom carrier logos. Now traveling over to the settings app for this one, circle icons makes all of the settings options appear as though they have round icons by adding a mask to them. HUD transparent 8 is a great tweak that basically removes the background of the HUD or heads up display when controlling the volume level of your device. Now these next two tweaks might look familiar for those of you who have already seen iOS 9. They actually started out as tweaks in Cydia prior to their adaptation in iOS 9. First we have swipe selection, which allows you to move your finger along the keyboard like so to reposition the cursor. And when you move with two fingers, it actually moves faster and you can hold down the shift key to select text like so, which I think actually works better than Apple's method for selecting text utilizing the keyboard. And chances are good you've definitely noticed this one by now too. It's called Showcase. And when you have the shift key toggled off, basically it shows all letters in their lowercase variants, whereas when you toggle it on, it makes them all uppercase. For those of you who use Tinder, check out Tinder++ inside of Cydia. It allows you to automatically swipe right. Just note that the swipes right will count against your total available swipes if you're on the free tier. And finally, we have Bitefont 2. Now, I actually detailed this already for the iOS 8.3 jailbreak. You can basically download different fonts by searching for them inside of the Browse tab. It will then bring you back over to the correct Cydia listing for the specific fonts. It's really easy to find them. Just navigate through the main Browse section. And then from there, you can go to Swap Mode, and you can go to Basic or Advanced if you want to play around with it. And you can set whichever font you want. Currently, I I have the Ubuntu light font set, but you can also restore to the original font if you want, and it's really easy to change them out. All it does basically is just respring, and then it applies it system-wide, so everywhere that there's text. All right, and that wraps up this video, guys. I really hope you liked it. It's taken me so long to compile everything, put it all together, record it, and edit it, and get it pushed out to you guys. So definitely give me that thumbs up if you like this video. And for those of you interested in winning a brand new iPad Air 2, navigate to freeappsfast.com inside of Mobile Safari, sign up, and start downloading apps. It's also a great way to show your appreciation and to help the channel out. Again, freeappsfast.com. And if you guys are interested in more videos like this one, let me know down below in the comment section. For those of you who want to be updated even more often, just be sure to like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and click that subscribe button down below next to my channel name if you have yet to. And until next time, this is ACU, signing out.